Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. This is my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Today I'm going to show you how to cast on to a loom using a crochet hook. So it's called a chain cast on. So what we have been doing in the past is that we've been putting it into a yarn feeder and then just wrapping the loom and we wrap the loom twice and then we just take the bottom loop and we toss it over. Therefore it casts on. So it technically takes two rounds in order to do that of the spinning and then you have to do it. With this particular crochet hook you can do all of that just in one step. So let's begin to show you how to do that. If you're planning on using a yarn tool to spin this later as far as like the e-wrapping you're going to want to load your tool before you start this process. Therefore it's going to be ready for you for when you're ready to go. So just leave that off to the side and then you can knit with that in just a little while. But in the meantime we are going to start and we're going to create a slip knot. So I'm gonna pretend that you don't know how to do that. So just point as if you're gossiping about somebody across the room and I want you to take the strand and I want you to put it around this finger. So just pulling up and wrap around twice. You should see two loops on your finger. Now the way that I compare this is like the game of leapfrog. So you have two frogs, one and two and they're gonna be playing leapfrog in just a moment. Taking both strands and I'll show this a couple times. Just pinch so that there's a little bit of tension. So this frog is all excited to play the game so it jumps over the first one and then this one wants to really play but he or she or they, they actually jump too far and they go right up over top of the finger and that is your beginning slip knot to start your project. Let me show you again. So gossip about the person across the room and put your frogs onto your fingers. Play the game Elite Frog goes over. This frog is so excited it wants to jump on over and that's how we're gonna play today. So now we're going to insert this onto the first one. So let's begin and do you see this knobby thing right here? I want you to concentrate and I want you to put it onto the one on this side. So if I'm right handed go this side, left handed you'll wanna go there and then just pull that but when you pull it don't pull it so tight that you can't get it off. And now let's begin to work on our process of casting on. So now we have the slip knot on to the loom. So I want you to take the strand that is leading to the yarn ball and take it to the outside leaving the other straggler to the interior. Now you wanna be a little bit loose with this so don't uh, be pulling this like you're gonna hold down a kite that's flying away in the wind. So just be relatively taut with it but not so crazy that it doesn't have a little bit of flexibility. I want you, because it's laying on the top here, I want you to go in between the first one and the second. And I want you just to, with the hook, just grabbing the strand that is leading and pulling it towards the middle. Now give it a bit of slack because it'll be easier in your life and you're going to go in between the next two and you're going to scoop up that yarn and putting the hook downward because it's easier and then turn the hook so that it turns sideways like this and heads towards this one. So just turn and pull through like that and then reset yourself. So then just give yourself a little bit more slack. Just pull on it and then go in between the next two. So just scoop and pull through and pull through that loop. If you don't provide enough slack it gets a little tough. Go in between the next one scoop and pull through. And you can go all the way around the loom like this and what you're doing is you're officially casting on so this is completely locked the first time. So unlike e-wrapping when you cast on you have to wrap around twice and then toss the one over the top in order to have this. This is happening all at the exact same time. So you're wrapping it and securing it with the chain cast on. So you can decide to do this method or the e-wrap cast on. It's up to you. And uh, once you get used to this concept it's actually not hard. So this will be how you do a cast on using a crochet hook. It's called the chain cast on and I'll see you again next time.